Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie Pierce here with Adobe Stock and Epidemic Sound to talk to you today about all things color. Color grading can drastically change the style and tone of your video. It can make all the difference in conveying the feel of your next video project. First, I'd like to take a minute to explain to you the differences between color correcting and color grading, because most people use these terms interchangeably, but they actually mean very different things. Color correction is getting your video clip back to neutral and natural colors. So maybe you shot in a warm light, and so in this case, you'd be adjusting the temperature. Or maybe you shot your clip a little underexposed, so you just want to bring that exposure back. Color correction is not stylized. It's simply trying to get your footage to look as authentic to real life as possible. Color grading is kind of like adding a stylized filter to your footage in addition to that original color correction. And today's video is all about color grading. I'm going to search for a few clips on Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is great to fill in gaps in your narrative or story in the video you're editing. Search using a few keywords that describe what you're looking for and scroll through until you find a clip that you like. When you find the clip you like, click the Buy License button on the right to license the clip. Then follow the prompts to check out. Your clip will then appear in My Library in Premiere Pro under Videos. So I've got some footage here in Premiere Pro that's already corrected. If you don't know how to color correct to get to this point, an easy start is open your Lumetri scopes to make sure you don't crush your blacks or blow out your whites. Then I use the Auto feature right here. Next, I make sure none of my shadows are below zero, none of my highlights go above 100, and I'll adjust this with either the exposure slider or the highlight slider, as well as the black slider. If I were grading this for a corporate video, I would likely go with a look that's more bright and clean. And for the audio, I would choose something that's calm and lighthearted. Audio plays a big role alongside color grading in conveying a tone for your video. So it's always important to match your audio to your color grade. For this example, I would search calm or corporate on Epidemic Sound, which is part of Adobe Stock Audio and is integrated into Premiere Pro. If I were going for a vintage film look, I'd choose more muted color and highlights. And in terms of the music, I'd go for a more moody, lo-fi kind of beat from Epidemic Sound. But for today's video, I'm going for a more classic Lizzie Pierce travel video type of look. I like to put all my color grading on an adjustment layer so it's not ingrained in the video clip, just in case I want to change it later. And this way it also adjusts the color on every clip in the timeline, all from one place rather than each individual clip. The first section I grade in is in the creative drop down menu. This is where I choose my shadow tint and my highlight tint. I'm gonna add some blue in the shadows and adjust the tint balance to make sure it's only in the darker shadows. As you can see, this can dramatically change your skin tones and not for the better. Obviously, you want your skin tones to remain as normal and, you know, as living as possible, not quite this bluish hue they're taking on. So what I do next is key out the reddish orange colors, AKA the skin tones, and I'm going to adjust that. I'm gonna use the dropper tool to select the skin tones, adjust my selection here, denoise and blur my mask, then use the color correction wheel to bring back in those oranges in those skin tones. And I'll just turn on and off my mask here to make sure I'm not saturating the skin tones too much and I can check my work as I go. Here's how I like to use my curves. A good old S curve in my opinion is always a great way to go. I like to flatten out my highlights over here and lift my blacks at the bottom of the curve. And throughout this whole process, I'm clicking on and off the adjustment layer to take a look at the difference from the original footage. Lastly, I add any random little stylized effects if I feel I need to. In this case, why don't we add a vignette? And this is the finished color grade. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos on the Creators Lab series.